everybody welcome back to my video no welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you my newest launch product on my little skincare business that i have been doing for like ages and ages now yeah so that's why i've not got any makeup on today because i'm going to be showing you the new skincare product and how to apply it and everything like that this is going to be like a little information video it's going to show you kind of how to use the product the benefits of the product the ingredients and how to order everything like that if you are interested in ordering my new product which i'll show you in a second i will leave a link in the description to my etsy and my ebay depending on which one you would rather order from For some reason i seem to get more orders on ebay than i do on etsy i'm not sure why but who knows um but both of them are available also if you want to go and follow my social medias for them i've got my instagram and my facebook group as well in the description so all of the information will be in the description but let's get into like what the new product is so around about i don't know a few months ago i discontinued my tea tree clay face mask and that is because I was creating something different and I just wanted to get you know, rid of those ones and just sell out of those ones and then I can focus on this new product that I'm now bringing out. This is also a clay face mask, but this is a charcoal clay face mask. So this is the Fresh Face by Georgie Carr charcoal clay face mask and this is the packaging. Please bear in mind that this is the one I have been using for the past month just to make sure the product's okay and everything like that and like trialing and testing it. Um, so there might be a few like scratches or things on like the label or just you know if you see anything and you think oh that doesn't look new it's because I've been using it for a month and I've been applying the product like two to three times a week so just bear that in mind um, but yeah this is what it looks like it is a charcoal clay face mask and I wanted to bring out this mask because I personally love charcoal products in skincare like facial washes and things like that and that is something I want to try and go into in the future is coming up with um, a charcoal face wash but that will be probably next year this is the product it has been a while it's been literally like three or four months of me from start to finish coming up with the ingredients of this product and researching into it getting the packaging getting the labels designing the labels in the first place and then you know trialing and testing it this literal face mask has been through so much i have been trying different formulas and literally had to go through about you know 15 16 different masks because i wanted to get it right to how i want it to be so yeah this is what it looks like i love the packaging of it i love the label obviously it screams charcoal there is um green kind of lettering on it um as well as kind of the black and the white because i like how that looks and also there is um a little bit of tea tree oil in this mask as well so that kind of like gives that little you know hint to the tea tree oil this mask um, can be used by anybody but I just wanted it to be perfect for people with oily skin because that's the skin that I've got so I wanted to create this mask to like my own skin type because then I will know if it's good or not if you know what I mean and I included the activated charcoal for that reason I will talk about more of the benefits of the product um, in a minute but yeah I wanted the activated charcoal but I also wanted that element of tea tree oil in it as well when I talk about the ingredients later on in the video you will understand why I included each ingredient this is what it looks on the inside yes I've been using this for a month a little goes a long way I will tell you and um, you don't have to use much of this product so in terms of ingredients I've got my little ingredients list written <laughs> on my laptop here next to me just so that I can remember. Um, first of all, we have French clay powder. That is also something that I sell by itself on my Etsy and eBay. So if you're not interested in like a ready-made face mask and you want to like make it up yourself, I do have my French clay face mask, which is also on my Etsy and eBay linked in the description. Just mix it with a little bit of water and then pop it on your face and then wash it off when it's dried. However, that is the main ingredient in this to give it that like clay element. We also have activated charcoal powder, which gives it its um, black colour. It also We also have activated charcoal pieces. I also wanted to include, as well as charcoal powder, charcoal pieces. So in here, there's like little chunks of um, charcoal, and that just means that it's kind of exfoliating the skin at the same time. I wanted that ingredient to be in there so that you um, could actually have a slight exfoliation of the skin at the same time. And I just really like that element. It kind of reminds me of the Body Shop Himalayan charcoal mask. It's got those like little pieces in it, pretty much the same as this. So yeah, I like that element to it, and I just wanted to include that a little bit um, in there as well as an extra. It's also got distilled water in it as well. 
it's got um, one hexadecanol, which is an alcohol. Um, it's not got that much of that. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of xanthan gum. It also has glycerin, which is actually, I've listed that wrong because there's more glycerin in it than xanthan gum. You need to, when you did the ingredients, you list it from most to like least amount in the product um, but yeah glycerin i was wanted to include an ingredient that would have also some skin benefits and i was going to include aloe vera but then i decided to include glycerin um and yeah glycerin is great for the skin it gives nice glowy skin and skin hydration and things like that and i know that it's just a face mask where you will just be removing it but i just wanted to have that little extra element so yeah it has got a little bit of glycerin in as well so it will make your skin nice and soft and glowy after you've used it. It's got tea tree oil as well, as I've discussed, that helps with spot reduction. And then it's also got liquid Germal Plus, which is helping like preserve the product. So there's loads of different ingredients. In terms of benefits, um, it helps to reduce spots and impurities. And that comes from a, the um, tea tree oil, also the activated charcoal helps with that as well because activated charcoal actually reduces the number of bacteria that your skin produces, which therefore means you will get less spots. So charcoal is a really great product in terms of skincare. Overall, it helps to clear your skin. Clay masks in general are great at really kind of like removing impurities, cleaning the skin and just um, it's great for anybody that has kind of like spot prone oily skin because it does help to clear your skin So that's another benefit of this mask. It leaves your skin feeling soft and clean Which I think is a great thing with a mask because you want your skin to be clean But also soft at the same time So after you've used this obviously you will feel clean because it will have stripped out the impurities from your skin But also it has that element of glycerin which will make your skin look nice and glowy What I would recommend is after using this mask or any clay mask in general is to moisturize and it will just really make a massive difference in terms of um, bringing the most out of the mask and the softness of your skin and another benefit this is not just the only benefits by the way there is loads more but this is just the ones I'm gonna list in this video um, is that it helps to clear your pores and to reduce excess sebum um, which is kind of like an oily residue in your skin that also creates spots so it's an all-round great mask if you do suffer from spots but you can use it um, as well if you don't have spots as well it's perfect for anybody and helps to reduce the chances of getting spots um, a lot of products say that it will reduce the size of your pores that's actually not possible you can't actually like small like make your pores smaller um, but you can make them less visible so a lot of makeup products like primers will make your pores less visible I have some pores I can't think where they are I think they're this side um, and I don't really care, you know, they're just my face. Um, it's just my face, so I don't really care. Um, but yeah, it will help to clear anything that's inside of your pores that would therefore create spots or anything like that. Basically, we just wanna get rid of all of the bacteria on your skin. Now, quickly how to use the product, I will show you in a minute, but just to kind of have a little roundup, basically what you wanna do is take your mask, you either use your hands to apply the product or you can use a face mask brush. Pop it all over your skin or just in the T-zone, depending on where you would like to apply the product. I personally always apply um, face masks just in my T-zone, clay face masks I mean, and then moisturising masks I will use all over my skin. Um, but it's completely up to you, it's just that in the T-zone it tends to get more oilier. So it's completely up to you. And leave the mask on for 10 minutes, it will start to dry on your skin. Try not to leave it on for too much longer than that because the most beneficial amount of time is about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, but I would say 10 minutes. Um, and then give it a good wash off because it's got those activated charcoal pieces in it, it will slightly exfoliate your skin as well. So you will um, feel, so you will have that slight exfoliation when you're removing the product. But overall, after you've used it and you've washed it off with warm water, your skin will be left feeling really clean and nice and soft, ready for you to go and moisturize. So that's how to use the product. Now I'm gonna show me actually um, using the product. So I'm gonna tie up my hair. Got a croissant on my head now. And I'm going to apply the mask. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer and then we can see what it kind of looks like. All right, um, if my skin's looking a little bit red, first of all, it's because I did a workout just before this video. Great, um, so that is why. Um, also, I've got nothing on my skin. It looks quite glowy, but I do have quite a 
glowy skincare routine in terms of night times so even when my skin has no products on it is quite glowy and also um, I do have oily skin as well but it's not too oily these days all I did this morning was wash my face and that was it so face mask time here is the face mask I am gonna take a little bit with a face mask brush you can use your hands if you don't have a brush and I'm gonna start applying it in the t-zone area um, I think for the sake of this video I might apply it all over my face just to kind of show what it looks like fully. I try and work quite quickly because obviously it's a clay mask it will dry so if you're dawdling around um, taking hours to put the product on then it will be starting to dry before you even finish putting it on. It applies really easily and it just glides onto the skin and yeah I really like the look of this mask. I like face masks that just look a little bit different in colour and yeah I really love a charcoal um, coloured mask. <laughs> Okay, the mask is applied you want to try not to get any in your eyebrows because you, you know you don't need it in your eyebrows and it's just a pain and also avoid the eye area um, don't get it in your eyes just put it everywhere else or your lips you don't need it on your lips or your nostrils um, so everywhere else is great or the t-zone completely up to you um, so this is what um, as I said the mask looks like whilst it is on leave it on for 10 minutes I will show you what it looks like every sort of few minutes so that you can see how it kind of dries and then we will wash it off so as you can see the mask is now starting to dry your face will feel quite tight because obviously the mask is a clay face mask it does do that um starting to dry here obviously it's still quite um not dry here it does obviously depend how thick a layer that you pop on so for example this might be slightly thicker than this area which means that obviously this area will um you know dry quicker also i applied it this side first so that is another reason um but yeah this is what it's starting to look like it's starting to dry it's been about four five minutes so about halfway and then um it should be nearly fully dried by the time we get to the 10 minute mark okay it's nearly completely dry a couple more minutes left um, thought I would just check in. I'm just scrolling on my phone until it's come off. By the way, sorry about my nails. I know that the nail varnish is not good. I need to take that off to be honest. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it is pretty much dry. It's been about 10 minutes. Obviously, you're still going to have a few like bits and bobs that haven't quite dried depending on how it's applied and things like that. I'm going to go now to the bathroom. I'm going to take this off. I don't think I can really film me taking it off too easily in my bathroom um so i'm just gonna go and take it off and then come back and you can see my skin afterwards um so yeah see you in a minute so i have just popped on my jumper i'm now in my bathroom i've been putting away my filming equipment for the past 20 minutes thought that i would end the video in the bathroom instead just to kind of make it quicker and yeah this is what my skin looks like after i've removed the mask my skin is very glowy like I do have like oily skin but it's not that bad to make it like this glowy um so yeah I'll just put that down to the glycerin in the face mask or just the face mask in general I don't know um but my skin straight after washing it or using a face mask is always matte give it 10 minutes and it will have a, a glow to it anyway so yeah this is what my skin looks like it feels so smooth like nice and soft like it's so 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 smooth and I just want to put makeup on my face because it feels so smooth and it's just like you just know that makeup is going to apply really nicely um so yeah this is uh, what my skin looks like um thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do want to check out the face mask then I will leave a link to my Etsy and eBay in the description just if you want to go and check it out or my social medias to do with that I would really appreciate a little follow but yeah thank you for watching I will see you in my next video which is on Friday it's a Q&A see you then Bye.